Milestone 175th Soweto Derby, 102nd league derby over the years, and a 52nd in the PSL era. Time that any team other than Mamelodi Sundowns line up. Two changes from the side that started in the goalless draw against Cape Town City on Wednesday for Orlando Pirates. Watch out though for Lee Sunda. Perhaps his greatest miss. Who bought very uh, willing to go forward. And, uh, but the key to them is Lodge and Hoto up front. Saturday, an opportunity though for Njabula Blom to impress again. A man who made his Kaiser Chiefs debut against Orlando Pirates in the 2019 Telkom knockout. To the four at the back for Kaiser Chiefs. But this has allowed the Lange to play a little bit more adventurous going forward. Locker on that number one behind Spira Chabalala. Quick acknowledgement to where they all wish the fans would be. Kaiser Chiefs and the counter attack is on here. It needed to be released first time to Manyama is onside. Now Dolly breaking near side, far side is Nange and Bernard Parker is sprinting up the far side where Ulisa Nda is adding some cover defense for Orlando Pirates. But that would have been a near ideal counter. Here's Billy and might go himself instead, plays short. And Ulisa Nda places a mature foot in the correct area and set pieces so two crosses now here with a shot that takes a deflection of his own man Mator still alive Parker has kept it in play for Kaiser Chiefs stays on his feet and delivers back post and so no nearly for Kaiser Chiefs that ball out of play before Billiard's attempt to feed it back in but how magnificently I'm just thinking to myself if Matoho was left or his right foot should have executed better. In fact, a lunging or a sliding type of uh, an approach to try and hook the ball or wreck his foot over the ball. King Faisal in Ghana. Williams and Dolly stand as the two player wall. Hotter defeat goes over their heads. Lovely header, glancing header by Nyoza that's saved by Peterson. Did not look like Nyauza was the player offside. As Dolly feeds in a delightful ball towards Biliat here. Manyama waits for something to come his way. So too Bernard Parker inside the 18 yard area. Great chance! Powerful drive! And a goal to Kaiser Chiefs, courtesy of Reef Frostler. An absolute stunner from a man who largely uses his left boot shows that it does not matter what, what is dominant. What a superb strike from Reef Frostler. A debut derisive. Belliot excellent in being patient. He, he doesn't force the cross with his left, but decided to cut it back into Parker, who was uh, perfectly positioned. But uh, Parker's experience comes through so strongly here in the way that I realized the opportunity to lay it, roll the ball back into the oncoming uh, Frostler. Oh man, oh man, what the laces. You hard, oh. you, it's not so easy to get it with the laces when the ball is on. First goal of the campaign. And a first goal in the derby. Launch Pepper nearly with a chance to equalize here. He's driven it wide. Yes, Pepper did well to round four a little bit, but you got to be a little bit tighter than that. Oh. He loses Matoho yeah. for a second though, so just to get himself ahead of him. But he doesn't quite swing his uh, run. And with Parker drifting just a little bit behind him. Lovely ball here. Cabello Jamini turns and his shot is drawn wide of Peterson's goal. And he. How's this for a delivery though? Uh -huh. It's a work about and does long ball. Oh. And time was on his run, but it. Ball drops into his right. It's not as strong as the uh, uh, foot. That is Cabello Damini. He's a bit of sin from Chiefs as well. There's uh, that opportunity from both sides. Offside flag is up here against Dolly. He might have it tucked into the back of the net from a very tight angle. Just showing his ability all round. Ooh, I am telling you. No, was, well, that's right on the cutting, yeah. and that is. Uh, that's what you might call getting his maiden goal in a derby. Here's Pepper, crazy space and gets a powerful shot away, but Peterson just stuns it with his palms. Into the inside, he adjusts a little bit to his left, but he has to adjust immediately by closing that near. Not unless it's an injury forced. Delivery toward the back post, and Dahl looks to uh, head it back in. Nange nods it away, doesn't clear. 
Lovely ball in towards Munare. Might go himself here, does try a shot himself, takes a deflection now for the... So Billiards, maybe just a, a tweak. Pepper, and the offside flag is up after a spec. Oh, yes. Oh, he doesn't drift to back in half. Uh, he's he a little bit impatient, but the diving... now will shift a little bit forward alongside the Castro. Well, back is in Sissetsa in that pass. And Bernard Parker looks to feed in Castro here for a shot at goal and the chance of a second is spurned. Yeah. With a lovely ball. Not bad, not too far, not too with far his left foot, yeah? I saw it go high from our vantage point, but I didn't realize it was only just high. Good header of the ball. He's standing off in a little bit of space, in a pocket of space. Delivery in here, ricochets around, it comes out to Mavasso, takes a crack and drags his left-footed effort wide of Peterson's goal. Play to the goal that Froza scored. As Tembigosi Lodge charging down on him, now Blom on the opposite side, a real chance for a second for Chiefs, that ball needed to be firmer. Now the counter-attack is in the opposite direction. Pirates have numbers here. Lorch looks to the near side. Munare! Munare! Pepra with a goal! Orlando Pirates are level. The flag stays down. And Pepra has his fifth goal of the campaign. His sixth in all competitions. The man from Kumasi has drawn Orlando Pirates level in a fixture they have never come back from a half-time deficit to win. Who tries to thread that ball through and the ball is intercepted and this was the result but Munare here with his left foot and hits it hard I think uh, he was it was between scoring and a cross wherever pops up on the first side and Petra anticipated that well now that ball tucked away by Pepper who looks to be well, is he closer to the goal line than both the ball and the second last defender? We know he's closer to the goal line than both than the second last defender, but he looks just about on line. It's whether or not he was just the uh, goal line and the ball. Shot here, and that is not going to test and put up. Lovely strike here that bounces in towards Bojani and the Pirates goal. He's parried that to safety, but that was a fine dolly end of conditions. And once it bounces, it's quite a few as a goalkeeper. You're not too sure where is it going to bounce to. But uh, it looks like Bojani already anticipated. Rain coming down even heavier now. Delivery in towards Parker. And in slippery conditions, he manages to slide away from... Hotto's in a great deal of space here, but he's not seen. And inside the area here is Lodge. Hotto is there. Could he strike clear? Only, only just made his way back onto the pitch. Lodge with an attempted ball in for Hotto. He might still start the feeling uh, well right now, but I can tell you in the way that. Uh, he reacted when the injury happened. It's something that he's going to feel a whole lot more later. And he might find himself not being able to... Uh, no penalty has been awarded. Ball towards Mabaso. That's away from Sukhota. Towards Sundar at the back post. Header flicked away by Peterson, but also kept... Gee, I don't think he was in a position to pick it up, uh, Peterson. That's why he decided to just, just tap it. As you, as you can see the bouncing, it just doesn't bounce up. But oh, Lovely control from Frosler on the far side, back into Schota. Who in damper conditions was able to uh, move around the park a little more freely. Schota now in towards Dolly and that was a lunge that needed to be made by Marco to defend the deflection here. It's just over. Chabot Blom looking for a derby cut on. And this was a rare opportunity to snatch it for Kaiser Chiefs yeah. in the closing stages. Looking very positive for a change at least, getting that moment. 
Looked like it was on target, it's up until it took that deflect. I still can't believe that I went over. Oh, there it is from the corner of Dolly De Lewis. And the header is in by Mator. A man who turned 32 on Tuesday has given himself a late birthday present and perhaps snatched victory away from Orlando Pirates. Tower Mador can celebrate. The opportunity to send that ball into the back of the net. Not enough pressure for Mator. You know he's tall already. You got to double up on him. One or the other. And he attacks the ball beautifully and it just shave it slightly to redirect it towards goal. It's a great goal. But how about the delivery from Dolly? Look at the quality of that Dolly delivery. Mator with a superb finish. He gets between Nyauza and Da and an advantage. Leading for the most part and for its equalizer and then we're able to uh, get the winner in the dying stages. Great chance here! This game for the second time, and now with a header hits the woodwork, of finding an Orlando Pirates equalizer here. And you were asking, did it cross the line? From my vantage point, I didn't think so, but no. Alpha Stolle was well positioned to make that call, and Peterson quick to react. And that has not crossed the no, line completely pretty much on side but for me it's uh, the goalkeeper to his credit to stay with the flight of the ball as it bounced off the upright that looks like it's hit one of the wet patches and bounced in the opposite direction to the way the ball was initially spinning only slightly 